Hey everybody, Brandon Clifford here, Global Franchise Solutions, a franchise consulting company based in Atkinson, New Hampshire. And you know, we play matchmaker, connecting entrepreneurs with awesome franchise brands. And today we have one of our many franchise partners. I got Paul Dorsey from Jantize America. Paul, how you doing, man? Hey, great, Brandon. Good to see you again. Good to see you live online. It was great to see you up in New York City at the big IFA show. A lot of good things happened up there and uh, excited to talk to you today. Awesome. Yeah. So we'll jump right into these questions here. Um, you know, kind of get to know you a little bit and your brand. So just start by telling us a little bit about yourself and, and how you got involved in franchising. So great question, Brandon. And I've been in franchising for a long time. I started with a company called Janie King. I was one of their top sales guys. Whenever Jan Pro learned about the whole franchising model, I, I really thought that Ronald McDonald owned all those <laughs> franchises out there. And boy, look at Ronald and how much he's grown. I learned, again, all, all the ins and outs of franchising. I was one of the first area developers or master franchises, and I'll tell you why we changed those names around, at Jan Ties America. We're in Charlotte, North Carolina. I sold 89 local unit franchisees. Again, the average guy's investing about $10,000, and he's buying the book of business. So successful in Charlotte, I went to uh, Jerry Grabowski, the founder, up out of Livonia, Michigan, and said, hey, Jerry, I want to do this, that, and the other thing. Let's move everything into Charlotte, uh, kind of redefine the systems, created a lot of back of the house uh, set up. And then we've launched the national franchises, brought on 13, 14 area developers uh, and about 300 or so unit franchisees. Awesome. But, you so, know, it, uh, yeah, you, you kind of talked about two different things there, you know, master franchisee, unit franchisee. And, you know, sometimes those it's hard for people to understand what the difference is. So pause for a second. You don't have to talk specifically about Janetize, but just. In general, what's the difference between a master franchise, you know, agreement and like a single or a multi-unit franchise, which most people are probably more familiar with? What's the difference? Wow. Great. And then you just threw in another terminology, multi-unit. So here, let's talk about that and get it clear, or hopefully from what my understanding, I'm sure some other guys may have some better knowledge than I within the industry. Maybe we should even write a letter to the guys at the IFA. <laughs> sure. So I, I, I see as if there's four different types not brands, there's over 4,000 different brands of franchises, but there's four types of franchises. The first one, a unit franchisee, husband and wife team brought, buy a franchise on the corner of, of Fifth and Main and, and they're in business. They're working in the business, they're going in, they're working with the customers on a regular daily basis. Then you get into a multi-unit franchise. A lot of multi-unit franchisees are, are the restaurants. A lot of the guys own, you know, 5, 10, 20 McDonald's. A lot of the guys' uh, hair cutteries are, are a lot of uh, multi-unit. You got to have one, two, three, four, or five. And then you get into an area developer, or which I call an area developer. Area developer buys a major metro such as Charlotte or Chicago or Tampa. Within the territory, the area developer buys the rights to sell and support the local unit franchisees. He is also involved in all the shares of the unit franchise sales and on the royalties. And then a true master franchise would buy a much larger territory, such as Jantai's Canada. And we would change the name to maybe Jantai's uh, Canada, change the, the American flag to a, mo uh, a maple leaf flag, and, and certainly they would grow the brand. Now, at Jantai's America, we call it an area developer because my office, the corporate office here in Charlotte, North Carolina, takes care of all the billing, the credit, the collections, all those hassles and headaches. So the end of the year, 1099 actually comes from Jantai's America, not the local area developer. Make sense? It makes complete sense to me. And so you're looking for more area developers across the country right now. So who does make kind of like a great Jantai's, you know, area developer? So a great question. Yes, major cities for our area developer. Who makes a great uh, area developer? Someone who could follow a step by step by step program that's set up for our area developers. Someone with a big picture and wants a huge return on their investment. I, I was listening at, at the franchise show and some of the franchisees uh, were saying, hey, after two years, you guys could make 200,000 or so. Hey, at Jantize America, after, after a year, they're making 200,000. It could go up to three to four to five million dollars because the area developer is a big picture guy. Remember, I sold 89 unit franchises in Charlotte, North Carolina, and we're building the residuals on the services the unit franchisees take care of the end use customer. So what does kind of like an area developer's typical day look like? 
Uh, he's in the office meeting with his staff. He's going to need two outside sales guys, again, feet on the street, knocking on doors, bringing in the new business development for the unit franchisees. He'll also need one or two part-time inside sales, telemarketers, appointment setters in the office, getting his team started going. Hey, nine o'clock, he, he's meeting with some potential unit franchisees in his conference room, going over the basic information, having a cup of coffee. The first time the area developer meets with the unit franchisee, again, he needs to ask two questions. The first one, hey, Bob, unit franchisee, how much business do you want? Because he's actually, in a nutshell, don't get me wrong, there's all these rules and regulations and uniforms and mentoring, but in a nutshell, the unit franchisee is paying the area developer an upfront commission for X amount of business. So the unit franchisee says, hey, I have $10,000. Great. You'll get $3,000 worth of customers or businesses. Now, I don't know. It could be two banks and a dentist office or, or one car dealership. But once the area developer fulfills those obligations, the sales and marketing, the area developer is a sales and marketing machine. Okay, great. So what, what's, a, what's kind of like the average investment it takes for an area developer to get up and running? Territories are $65,000 for that major city, such as Tampa or, 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 or any other major city with a million plus in, in population. We can put a few counties together or whatever it needs to make the territory work for that area developer. Another forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 to hire that small sales staff, get an office space, and he's all in for, I don't know, $100,000, 125000 Wow, nice. Low investment too. So someone who's a sales leader, you know, maybe business management background, you know, has that hunter mentality, likes to nurture people and help them build their business is a, is a great fit. So if I'm that guy, how do I learn more? Well, again, the guys that you want to ask the questions to is, hey, hey, Bob, Mr. Candidate, who's looking for a franchise, do you want a scalable business? They're all going to say, yes, yes, yes. Well, hey, Bob, do you want to create some residuals? You don't have to go into work every day after a year or so? Well, yes, yes, yes. Hey, hey, Bob, how about giving back, mentoring, supporting other small business owners? Well, yes, yes, yes. And then full circle, ask Bob, do you know what an area developer or master franchise is? And nine out of 10 guys won't have a clue. And that's a perfect opportunity to show them the Jantai's America opportunity. Awesome. Well, there you have it. Great opportunity. Um, you know, definitely reach out to myself, Brandon Clifford. You can uh, go to www.globalfranchisesolutions.com and I can connect you with Paul to learn more. Paul, you want to give a shout out for Jantai's web, your own website, your own contact info. Go ahead. Yep, www.jantize.com, J-A-N-T-I-Z-E. And I was going to shout, go Red Sox. As they <laughs> I hope. Hopefully they keep it going. That's right, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're, you're original Springfield guy, right? Yep, right, right down the street from you. So awesome. I know you're a big Red Sox fan too. That's right, cool. Well, Paul, thanks a lot for your time. And I look forward to connecting with you again very soon. Thanks, man. Thank you.